okay so as delta x decreases truncation error decreases and round of error increases okay so there exists delta x for which the total error is minimum okay so for forward difference okay for the forward difference formula our delta x has to be proportional to epsilon to the power half for f dash using central difference or f dash using three point forward difference delta x is proportional to epsilon to the power 1 by 3 and to use f double dash using central difference formula delta x is going to be proportional to epsilon to the power 1 by 4 okay i am just stopping over here mainly because uh, f dash using forward difference f dash using central or three point difference and f dash f double dash using the central difference formula are likely the most common uh, numerical differentiations that a typical chemical engineer encounters so i won't go into anyth anything beyond that now question is how do we choose the actual delta x when when we are going to implement okay and the way we choose the actual delta x is let us say we want to find out f dash of x i keep in mind all these are in relative terms it's they are relative with respect to the absolute values of uh, of the of the current system that we are we are uh, looking at so if we want to find the numerical derivative of f dash okay if we select let us say we have selected the forward difference scheme then our delta x is going to be equal to the absolute value of x i multiplied by epsilon to the power half okay do not just use epsilon to the power half it is the absolute value of x i multiplied by epsilon to the power half. So, x i is going to be equal to x i plus this guy for x i plus 1. So, x i plus 1 is going to be equal to x i plus x i epsilon to the power half okay. So, if x i is positive then uh, x i plus 1 is going to be equal to 1 uh, x i multiplied by 1 plus uh, epsilon to the power half okay. So, that is the choice that uh, you need to take with, with respect to what delta x you will choose for, uh, for getting uh, the numerical derivative. Now, if you want to get the numerical der derivative f dash using central difference formula it is going to be absolute value of x i multiplied by epsilon to the power one third because this is what we get over here okay. So, this is how we are going to practically implement the overall uh, use of numerical differentiation okay. So, to summarize what we have done in numerical differentiation what we started off with was uh, we, uh, we just said that geometrically numerical differentiation means finding the slope at, uh, of a particular curve and then we saw the forward central and backward difference methods uh, and the geometric interpretation of using them. Uh, next we use the Taylor series expansion in order to derive the uh, forward and central difference formula for f dash x and the central difference formula for f double dash x. Then we went on to a method called a method of undetermined coefficients in order to get uh, the, uh, uh, the derivation for f, f x and f dash x. Uh, so, that is what we covered uh, with respect to uh, deriving this overall formulae. Uh, 
uh, after that we uh, covered the error analysis of the truncation error we saw that uh, the error in f dash x was proportional to delta x for the forward difference formula uh, what was proportional to delta x squared in the central difference formula proportional to delta x squared in a three point forward difference formula. Uh, then we saw that as delta x is changed uh, round of error uh, increases as delta x decreases uh, the truncation error decreases as uh, delta x decreases and there is a particular value of delta x at which the error is minimum and then we finally derived uh, the condition for which delta x is minimum and we finished off by giving uh, practical hints as to what delta x that we need to choose such that this particular error in finding out the numerical derivative is minimized. Okay. So, that is essentially what I intended to cover in numerical differentiation.